it's ironic that the steering feels like the most special of the F12 TDFS specialties, because while Ferrari massaged the F12S engine, transmission, suspension, brakes, and aerodynamics for the F12 TDF program, the hydraulically assisted steering system is the one component left unchanged. The electric motors that steer the rear wheels at up to 2 degrees in either direction come from ZF, but Ferrari engineers performed all of the software calibration to ensure the system works in harmony with the electronically controlled limited slip differential, the magnetoheological shocks, the traction control, and the stability control. As you click the steering wheel mounted Manetino drive mode selector from sport mode to race to CT off, traction control off, the car's agility swells. Neutral is the wrong word, though, because neutral implies a car that can be provoked to understeer as readily as it oversteers. The F12 TDFS front tires only plow when you do something truly stupid. Modern rear wheel steering systems, including those in the big dog Porsche 911s, typically counter steer relative to the front wheels at low speeds to improve agility and steer in the same direction for greater stability at elevated velocities. Ferrari claims its adaptation doesn't need to counter steer the rear wheels, the natural behavior of the car is sufficiently agile. Instead, the Italians need only the enhanced stability to keep the tail from overtaking the front of the car in corners. Ferrari's previous track special, the aptly named 458 Speciali, can turn any driver into a hero with its beautiful balance and unflappable cool. That mid-engined car's reactions will flatter you into believing your every move is a flawless execution of vehicle dynamics theory. The F12 TDF is far less forgiving. It demands more focus, more skill, and more respect. In return, it delivers honest fun that is both uncommon and uncanny in a car with this much power and this much grip.